How the hell do I? Yeah, following. Yes, I need to do this real quick. The most banger intro music. Uh, should I go while you stream? Or? Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I think it's okay if you stick around for a stream. Okay. I'll do that then. Subnautica, everybody. I just figured I'd do a stream. I was, was talking to Devin. Devin suggested doing Subnautica, and I've wanted to do Subnautica for a while. I'm uh, not really blind to this game. I've played it almost to completion before. At recent, like a, not too long ago, like a month or two ago, but actually it was probably more like two months ago now. But I felt like just hopping in and messing around a little bit in Sonata, seeing where it goes and whatnot. That's um, what I'm gonna do. Let's see if I come back and do more. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna create a save. I think it's a lightly modded, so there will be a little bit of stuff that's not really in the vanilla or the you know, regular game but anywho I could probably let the cutscene play out but a minor concussion. Oh, right. I should probably extinguish this death trap. You should, you should lick the fire. Ooh, oh. fire. Oh. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good Ooh. luck. I will take all the goodies out of the storage. Alright, let's get the little cinematics out of the way just so I can get, so I can get on with this nonsense. Beautiful world. Beautiful, yeah. The Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. That's what this Source is, right, Devin? Unknown. Zero detected. Like. I am very not afraid of oh, I, I could have gotten like a mod that put my life pod in like a completely random location. I didn't even think about that, but you know, it's okay. I, I'm fine being playing the normal game. And not Why would you want to do that? I just spot out in like the friggin' blood cup. God, could you imagine getting dropped like? Oh, no. <laughs> Pick up a bunch of acid mushrooms. So... Just drops you out in the void. Yeah, yeah, that sounds that's, uh, idyllic. Oh, yeah, no oxygen. <laughs> I'm removing. Yeah. Ooh, crevasse. I love a good crevasse. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was pleasant. Any you cave sulfur? Ooh, felt orb. Detecting Look at you go, it's almost like you played the game before. No, no, I definitely did not say that already. Oh god! What are you? What is this? Oh, I gotta sw- Oh, I'm gonna friggin' drown. 
genius. I'm a pro at this game. Don't you think another second of it. Let's see if I can... I got a little bit... Oh! oh. Dead already. Do you, you got a little bit in there? Just a touch? Okay. I still got that gold though. Still got that blank blank. Did you? Or did you drop it? No, I, I, I kept the you gold. Kept lucky you. Yeah. Yeah, lucky me. What are you? What are we? Oh. New creature discovered. Oh, that must be one of the oh. modded fish. New creature discovered. Yeah, you are new. You are new, new. Playing with the uh, updated de extinction mod, so that'll be fun. It's only one new Leviathan, but I already got the other two new Leviathans with the other mod anyway. Wait, what Leviathan is that? It's the um, the Gulper. Oh, right, yes. Ooh, there's some uh, acid mushrooms. Yeah. Gimme, give gimme. Give okay, you know what? I think. I think I need to go into Crashfish Cove over here. Copper. Give me the air. Applications. Utilizing alien resources there we go. Survival strategy. Let's see what I've missed in that uh, frantic approach. Oh. 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 Yeah, I'm doing great. Oh, give me your sulfur. That's like a shakedown, John. Give me your sulfur. I demand the sulfur. Oh, I gotta go up. You know what? I think I could probably go back to the life pod. I think I got, <laughs> I think I got some goodies. Alrighty, let's see what I can make. I can make an O2 tank. Do I have one? I don't. I can make one. Let's make an O2 tank. Make it a beautiful, beautiful oxygen tank. There we go. Ship bang. Flashlight. Sca oh, scanner. Let's go with the scanner. Not a flashlight. Flashlights are for people who want to see things. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints. I can make a flare. That's the same thing. Alien biological data. Yeah, we need to see. Sight is for those who need to see. What can I make that is of use? Well, I could probably toss some of my stuff in the chest. Clear up some space. Get rid of these acid mushrooms. I'm beyond them. <laughs> well. Well, well, well. I got me old scanner. Come here. I want to scan you. What are you? Rabbit Ray. Old rabbit. Come here. Oh, there's a whole flock. I don't know what you call a group of gasopods, but I found them. A pod of gasopods. Is that what you'd call it? It'd be funny if it was. Well, at least I put all my stuff in the chest. Ooh, table coral. Give me everything. Everything known to everything. I can scan everything. Oh, normal. Let's scan me. I, oh, I'm so fine. Scan complete. Vital signs I wouldn't say normal, but you know, monitor. switch the round. Oh, 
Those must be new as well, those things. I haven't seen them before. I have not seen the filled orbs. I should make an air bladder too, that would be good. What are you? Clown pincher? Whoa. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and what? What? Where's the starter base going, folks? Um. Could just <laughs> could just pick like the most demented biome to start it. Build it and <laughs> yeah, a crash site. Oh, that's fun. Die to radiation immediately. Yeah, just die to um. radiation. Constantly. New creature discovered. That's my favorite way to enjoy the game is by you know just dying all the time. There's no other way. God, don't you know it? I know it, sister. New creature discovered. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, sister. What do we have here? What are you? Oh, I think I already scanned the other one. What are you? What are you? I come like. I'm I'm blind to this. I'm like, what are you? Yeah, I got mods. I got mods. Mm -hmm. well, I have modifications. Uh oh. S surface. Qu quartz first, then surface. Quartz. Oh. Grab that bladder fish. Scan, scan, scan. You never know. When it'll be your last time to scan something. Oh, I, I, I do the whole gamble. I don't, <laughs> not, not hardcore, not hardcore, but the whole gamble, really. Look at you going. Gary Fish. If I, if I ever play Subnautica again, I'm probably gonna do my first run without it. Cause I did a run with, uh, with that. I was playing so slow. Uh, I was afraid of everything, and my food kept, uh, well, uh, let's just say, <laughs> let's just say I played like six hours and didn't even get to the Aurora. <laughs> so, although I also spent a lot of that time building like C, like three sea moths, because they kept breaking, so. <laughs> That might have had something to do with it too. I had the when I played the first time I had one seamoth and I got eaten by a ghost leviathan and it was a little bit sad. Oh no, I left mine on a shore and it died. And I had to swim back. Yeah, the first I don't time. Yeah, beaching beaching them is a little bit of a, a dicey. Operation. Yeah, I had to swim back I had to swim back from the first island. I was really hoping those reapers were just not gonna see me. I should probably pin the recipes I didn't want to make, shouldn't I? I, I was horrified. I need silicone rubber. Air bot. Yeah, I need silicone rubber for everything. Everything. Guess I gotta go get some creep vine samples. Oh boy. There's the floaters. I'll take a floater. I'll leave them be. I'll let them keep that rock there floating. Keep it, keep her floating. How's my inventory looking? Oh, uh, you know. Probably fit a few of these. Ooh. Oh, I sense a stalker nearby. Definitely not because I heard one. Yeah, I see you. I see. Oh, I see you, but I still have like no reflex in avoiding you. What's your favorite like a uh, vehicle voice in the in the game? Probably Cyclops. Yeah, that's fair. I like. The Cyclops, I like. Too. I like the secret voice line that it does. Where it's like you're my favorite captain. And I'm not even squidding. Yeah, uh, it's a fun game. You're my favorite cotton, not even squidding. Make me some flippers. Flipper! 
Yeah, oh yeah. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment yeah, appropriate yeah. equipment yeah, using locally available materials. Slipper. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Weapons were removed from oh, standard Braxis survival Prime. blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains Braxis the only exception. Abraxas Prime. Gosh. Don't worry. If if you can if you can uh, run some Naka two, you you might be able to make it for that series. Yay! That is a huge if. Yeah, that like if is like big if. Unfortunately. Hmm. I, I, I see. I, I mean, I didn't. I bought. I. Yeah. Well, we'll have so that to find I've crafted, out. that I've crafted, that I've crafted. Oh, I made the repair tool too. Oh, bleh. sorry. Give me the da, da repair tool. You can get this, this radio going. Oh yeah, my favorite. Your favorite? Nine, 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 nine hours, that's probably. Uh, you know what? That's not that long. No, no, you know. Uh, take a good old hibernation cycle. Oh, I'm, I'm out. How many nines does it use again? We'll do some quick math here. I think it's ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. I could check actually. It's in the the data bank. For the voice log, yeah, ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine hours. So that's what, wait, 900,000. Yeah, so it's like six. And that's hours? Yep. Yeah, lots of cool stuff yep. with all the mods. I know I've, I'm fancy. So let's turn that into full days. So let's, Geological right, data. Environmental divide scan. that. 20, Category 3 ocean planet, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. That's okay, dude. You only have to wait about 114 years. <laughs> I'm gonna friggin' be dead. I'm, rot I'm gonna rot on this planet, and no one's here to save me. Extensive biodiversity. Safety warnings may support Leviathan class predators. Hmm. Contam that doesn't sound contam like Water contaminated really with high levels of foreign bacteria. That doesn't sound very good either. That sounds super good. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. Yeah, that's why you're taking friggin' 100 years to reach me. Really. It's, it's not that big a deal. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. These unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the middle has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. Titanium and copper. Oh yeah, baby. Analysis confirms this wreckage is from the aurora. Outer layers of the material have oxidized, suggesting it is heated to over 1200 degrees Celsius. A bit of heat treatment. <laughs> this pattern is consistent with the hull degradation or disintegration. Oh yeah, disintegration. There you go during atmospheric entry. The salvage of impact portions of Altera vessels is prohibited at legal, moral, and technical levels. However, scrap such as these may be re reclaimed for titanium content. I'm going to reclaim it. I already have. <laughs> I I did it. You know, I might as well just keep going, you know? I, <laughs> I'm not going to read every one of these, but... I'm not going to read, like, Table Core. You can read it yourself if you want. The Stalker. I'll read the I'll read the the lore entries. I might read like the yeah. Leviathans and stuff, like some of the cool stuff. I might read like some of the new stuff too, because those will have new things. Small graceful filter feeder with a tough shell found in areas with dense vegetation. Six appendages used for consuming plant debris, pollen, seeds branch off of 
a soft central chamber. A calcified shell encases the body and can seal shut if necessary. Behavior well generating state or generally stationary. Within the water column, floral filtorbs will close up when other life forms come near for protection. It's like um like the grava trap thing. Yeah. It's kind of I like it. Rib, ribbon ray, medium-sized herbivore found in di diverse biomes. Banded coloration. While some of the ribbon ray's coloration is similar to the surrounding environment, this pattern seems to serve the purpose of display more than anything else. Found commonly gliding through open water and occasionally taking shelter under coral and plant life. Ribbon rays are not particularly skittish, but are still cautious. In the triangle fish, small herbivore generally found in shallow waters. Eye stalks, two eye stalks on, uh, or two eyes on stalks give it a mobile field of vision. Skittish animal, generally stay, try to stay out of sight. Edible, yes. Scavengers and parasites. The emerald cone pincher, a small colorful scavenger found amongst large plant life. Collection appears to mimic the surrounding flora. Oh yeah, I can see that. Shows high genetic diversity, suggesting many extant, closely related species that frequently mate. Oh. Okay, found forming loose shoals while foraging on sea clusters. Nice, man. I've seen floaters and shuttle bugs. Nothing new. Exploit. I love how these exploitable flora. That's fun. I didn't even notice that. Just because. I Bain nettle. Alright, this is the stuff. The stuff, yes. I'm just gonna scroll through these. Read them at your own leisure if you want, if you haven't heard seen them. Alright, I'm gonna head out now. You uh you have yourself a good time playing some Monica. Talk to you later. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye chat. Bye Devin. It was just me. Well, I'll keep going for a little bit. Might do shorter stream, a shorter stream today, just to get the, the stuff going. Okay, so I need to go and do a little bit more caving for the time being. I got my trusty air bladder now to keep me safe. Copper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, probably should think about oh i love the new sounds as well well I, that might be just the the gastropods Ooh, creature egg but it sounded like a new sound there's gonna be some new creatures it's not gonna be entirely blind you know i'm not gonna be entirely um uh, boring i think i'm gonna settle on a very interesting biome in this series so you um yeah, you guys can suggest biomes if you want if um, anyone manages to make it to this point in the episode then um, yeah suggest a cool biome for me to live in for uh, the first base and i'm not gonna not gonna be uh, saying no to like a crazy biome i think it'd be fun i just need to get out of here now yeah, i love this ascend let's do this there we go the air butter is gonna save me. <laughs> Riley. You've only see, only seen the beginning of my wrath. <laughs> Trust me, if I if, <laughs> if I end up doing anything crazy like settling a stupid biome, then uh, yeah, it'll be a, a bit of a death fest for a while. I might get smart, but you know, I, I, I might not. Silver-based wiring Silver. an essential component of many habitat oh. modules. Ooh, what are you? Oh, they're just felt orbs. I thought I already scanned them. Here we go. Maybe they're different kinds. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, it went back in. Thank goodness, but now I gotta get out of here. But the caves are so cavey. Wow, it's almost like that's what caves are. Well, I guess 
that is true. We. Oh. Let's continue. I'll do a little bit more. I want to make that oxygen tank. want to do it. I need me the oxygen. I'll kind of loosely go through the PDA entries. I, I probably won't read over every single one. I guess I could, but I will probably only read over the interesting ones and then I'll, I'll just scroll through the other ones in case people, you guys want to read them. I don't know. I think that's uh, probably what I'll do though. Ooh. Cookie cave. Pretty cookie, indeed. Yeah, just imagine me like doing a starter base and like the blood kelp or the, near the crash site with the reapers. I mean, there's radiation right now, so that might not be, I don't know how doable that would be, but like how funny that would be. Or even like the, the Kush zone or something, you know, just something like really weird, a really weird spot. God, I'm just getting like absolutely like... <gasps> Fair, fair. This game is definitely putting me on edge. I gotta like go out a little bit to find my silver, I think. I gotta dig a little bit deep for that. Uh, full inventory. I'll get one more item and then go home. Oh! Get me out of here! Oh, that, that didn't really work, but save myself anyway. Ooh, there's a radio broadcast. It's probably one of the life pods, I'm guessing. <laughs> I must guess. I thought that would probably be what it is. Ooh. Ah, what can I draw? I can eat something, drink something. There we go. Make room where there is none. I could probably grab seeds as I go because I kind of like um, farming in this game. It's not there's not very much point in it, but I like like the just having all like the decorative stuff in a base. I don't know when I'll get around to doing that if I will, um, but I do really like that side of the game. In addition to putting myself in extremely dangerous situations, that is all. <laughs> that is also something that I find rather entertaining. And as you could tell, probably by me being like, I'm just gonna settle somewhere completely crazy. And the fact that I've like died already a few times, I'm definitely not gonna take this super seriously. So if you're here for like a proper serious playthrough, you might be a little bit like, ah, you know, upset. Um, re I don't even know what to call it. Reg, just give it a name when in doubt. I think I do need one more piece if I were to... Oh, no! Hey, no, sir. Nothing must be lost. I could probably go to that life pod. This is life pod three, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. We get that on the map. Ooh. Uploaded to PDA. <gasps> we got a life pod. I could go to the life pod. I could do that. I could make it work. I just need to park my stuff in old Reg here. Could bring some food with me too. That would probably not uh, hurt. Probably do the opposite of that. Cured food. There we go. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to swim there the old fashioned way. I got no sea glide or anything yet. They report their sea glide is damaged, though. I could probably get a little bit of a scanny scan. You get some progress on that sea glide, which I have not started yet. Can explore the terrain a little bit out to the life pod. Man, I love this game though. This is a pretty good game for me to go to because I've, I've always I've wanted to do a series on this game and 
I feel kind of like, well, I probably should have just saved my playthrough for when I was actually going to stream it, but I was under the pretense of me and Devin doing a series on Subnautica, like a multiplayer series, and that didn't really pan out just because it was like very like finicky and we couldn't get it to work um, at all. <laughs> was it even just like, it's laggy, you know, we probably could have made it work if it was laggy, but it just didn't work at all, so here I am doing a series and I almost completed my last playthrough. I didn't do the rockets, so I guess that'll be new. That'll be what I'm blind to. Um, but unfortunately, I'm, I'm basically uh, privy to a lot of those. So Integrating new PDA data. But, did I lock anything cool? Compass. Oh, compass is pretty cool. New blueprint acquired. It's no sea glide. It's no sea glide. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, I can take some scrap as well. Uh huh. But they're probably not very, very happy with me. Oh, I can go home at least. It's not even that far. It's a nice little jaunt. Oh, I just love the scrap. You never can get too much scrap titanium. I realized that in my playthrough that I did uh, like a month and a half ago or whatever. No where I was building like a base and I just realized how much bloody titanium you need. So much, so much. I'm just gonna grab it whenever I see it, just like foliage and satisfactory. Same thing. Hello. You've just come at like almost the end of my short little stream. would continue but I am rather tired. I'm having fun though. That's all that matters. I put another like uh locker. I put another locker out. More stuff <laughs> can never have too much. Okay so we got where is my locker? What did I put you? Locker? I hope the stalkers have not found my base and dragged my locker away. That would not be very good. What happened to it? I just, I just had it. I was kidding about the stalker thing. But maybe one actually did come along. Or maybe it's on the, just on the, the ocean. The top of the ocean. It was funny how I I was doing it and they kept grabbing them. That's not that that part's not very funny. But I just like like later in the game I'd be coming back and I just see like a locker floating around somewhere. I don't really like doing lockers because of this reason. That's okay. You should make an underwater base. Yeah, I gotta figure out which biome I want to do it in. Cause usually. People starting this game would probably do it in like the safe shallows where I am, but I've played the game before a little bit, a fair bit, so I could probably. Reg Jr. could probably do something a little bit more exotic. Seriously though, where did I put that locker? Well, I know where I put it, I just don't know where the friggin' stalkers took it. Anyway. I won't worry about that. I will not fret. I should see what I need to make that compass. And check my PDA. See what else. Oh yeah, I need like copper and silver. I think that's silver that you need for the wiring. Yeah. Yep, that's what I need. I personally make multiple bases in safe water and deeper. Yeah, that's probably the same thing to do in this game. That's usually what I'd do is I'd start in the safe shallows. I don't even know if it would be like, I mean, it definitely wouldn't be beneficial to start in a non-safe shallow biome, but like, I don't even know. I feel like it would just be a fun challenge. I'm so used to doing like everything, like starting in the safe shallow, and then I did one a base in the, I think the grassy plateaus. those stalkers should I'm not even near them though 
Also, when you get a Cyclops, that, that is a moving base. Yeah, Cyclopses are cool. Cyclopses are epic. You can also move items to deeper bases. Mm -hmm. You can fill it up with lockers and just putter on away. And um, I was like, like, kind of worried about like losing stuff. Like when it exploded, I was like, oh, I won't. I'll lose all that stuff in the Cyclops. No, that doesn't even happen. It's great. Like, if your Cyclops explodes, then. All the stuff's still there, the lockers and stuff. Still get your stuff out of it after it explodes. Although I don't, I can't say I've had a Cyclops explode yet. <laughs> yet. I did some pretty harebrained stuff in uh, that save, and I can only imagine what I'm going to do in this save. I should have a quick little drink. Oh, I want to make that oxygen tank I need oh I only need one uh, who am I kidding I can make it wait no I don't need it never mind yeah, let's have a second one well I could probably use it for something else in the future anyway oh only problem is it's expensive so you should probably start with the moth mm-hmm it is that yeah, it is rather expensive. Um. Okay, I don't think I. I thought I had enough. I, I got the cards. Where's my silver? Where's my silver? I thought I had one. So oh, I must. Did I use it to craft something? Is it? Is that the right? I thought I had one, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I don't. None of this requires silver. Oh, it must... Mm. It must be in that mysterious locker that's gone off in the abyss. Oh, the prawn. Yes, I will be loving every minute of the prawn. I just gotta look for good old Reg Senior. Wherever Reg Senior went. Well, I can just go and get more silver, but I'll, I think I'll probably leave it there for now. I'm not gonna do a super crazy long first episode just because I've got a, a heck of a ton of time right now. But I'll have to see about um, where things go. It's definitely. A fun game, and I, I'm looking forward to having that, having it be maybe something if I come back to it. But yeah, um, yeah, that should do it though. So thank you for tuning in. Thank everybody on uh, the YouTubes whenever the, when I get this moved over, and um, yeah, see you in the next one. Goodbye.